back to my channel. My name is Yaji Life Yeji, and today I have like an indie brand that was also featured in Shark Tank to share with you, and they're called Booty Queen. So if you're interested in them, please continue to watch. Also, if you're new here, welcome. I upload videos about fitness, workout clothes, reviews, and just fitness in general. So if you're interested in topics like that, please consider subscribing because it would mean the world to me. Before we start, I just wanted to give you my measurements. So currently, I'm 25 weeks pregnant. I'm 5'3". I weigh roughly 135 pounds. My waist is around 30 inches and my belly area, like the highest point where it's sticking out, is 36 inches. So the first leggings I want to share with you is called the booty leggings. And I think it's called the booty leggings because of the emphasis on the thigh. So from the back, it looks like your booty pops a little bit. I picked up the size extra small, which is the smallest size they offer. So straight off the bat, one of the things I noticed is how high these leggings come up. So my ribs are like ending right here and the fabric comes up all the way to my ribs. And so this area is like really high compared to other leggings I've tried. So I guess that's a good or bad thing, but if you have a shorter torso, this is just gonna cover your full frontal area and there won't be any like skin showing. Right now I'm also wearing just like a regular bra, not a longer line bra, and so you can see like my skin's barely showing over here. These leggings don't have a seam up at the top, I mean except the seam down the center. And there is seam like around the lower belly area, but the top is like seamless in a way, it's like two fabric kind of folded in together. So the length of the waistband is only like 11 inches, but these leggings are super stretchy and therefore I feel like they could have gone down a size considering that these are an extra small. The crotch gusset is a triangle. And I love triangle gussets just because I get less of a camel toe. The fabric of this material is like that workout material, but it doesn't give off any like sheen or shine, but it is like a sweat wicking type of material fabric. And the fabric continues down, but on the leg and the ankle area, there is a mesh material. And the mesh design is not one of those like flimsy mesh, it's actually quite sturdy. I also had to fold these leggings twice. Not once, but twice because these were really long on me. The back of the leggings look like this. One thing I found interesting is their logo. So their logo is like stitched on on the upper part of your glutes, which I found is interesting. It's kind of cute because if these are meant to be like V leggings and like the logo's right there, it just kind of emphasizes that area, right? And I like the fact that it's stitched on so you won't have to worry about like the logo peeling off or anything like that. The compression of the leggings is pretty good too. I mean, it's quite stretchy. One thing I want to note is that this is an extra small, which is the smallest size they offer. I'm like pregnant being 25 weeks and that's like more than six months, just FYI. So if you're smaller than me or you have like a slimmer figure, I feel like these leggings just won't fit you or they'll be like too loose or almost baggy on you just because these are actually quite form hugging to me right now and the compression, there's actually enough room for me to even grow further. These leggings were not squat proof on me. They were actually very sheer. Now the fit of it is actually very nice, like the fabric, even though it is that workout material, I felt like it went up really nice. But the negative thing is the seams down the center don't align. So I don't know if that's like a mistake on the batch or all the different colors of booty queen leggings are like that. I really don't know. The stitching here doesn't align. As you can see, the lower part is like toward the right a little bit. And then the upper stitching is like slightly towards the left. It's more noticeable when you wear it, but that's just some defect I noticed. So I feel like these leggings are not meant for like petite girls. For sure, these are meant for like a bit more muscular workout type of girl rather than like the yoga pilates type of girl. The next pair of leggings I want to share with you are called the high waist driven warmer leggings. And I also picked this up in the extra small which is their smallest size. These leggings retail for $89.99 on the website. Now comparing that to the booty queen leggings, the waist doesn't come up as high. I mean it is pretty high but it's not as like super high up here. There is a stitching down on the lower waist area and there's two stitches that kind of go up all the way but at the very top of course other than these two stitches it is a seamless look the length of the waist and these leggings are also around 11 inches so very similar to the booty leggings there's no stitching up at the top but there are two stitches down 
and then of course another stitch around the waist and then the stitch down the center and then similar to the previous legging it also has a triangle which I love the fabric is different from the previous booty legging it's not the performancey sweat wicking fabric it's more like a brushed fabric and as the name suggests, it's like a warmer legging. I believe you're meant to wear this for like cozying up. I mean, you could wear it to the gym as well, but the whole purpose is like to lounge in and to feel comfortable, perhaps do yoga and Pilates in it. These leggings really remind me of the Aloe Yoga Goddess leggings where it's like a warmer type of material down your leg and then it's like a workout legging material up at the top. The fabric of the warmer part of the legging is actually very soft and it's like a ribbed material and it just feels comfortable overall. The warmer part of the legging is ribbed like this. So it's quite comfortable and I mean the name says warmer so they're meant to keep you warm. The inner part of the warmer is like this elastic type of stitching. Similar to the previous legging, these are also extremely long on me. So I know they're meant to go around your ankle like onto your foot like this. But I mean do you see how much fabric there is? Like it is so much like look at that so i don't understand why these leggings are so long i don't know if the owner perhaps is like really tall that's why all the leggings are geared toward tall girls but this is like way too long for me i really hope that these leggings would work out but just because they're so long they just don't look cute on me this is how the back of the legging looks like Also, these leggings were not squat proof on me. Once again, with these leggings, considering that it's the smallest size, I'm surprised it can fit into them. I mean, it's pretty roomy. So overall, I feel like the brand just caters for taller girls and like muscular girls or perhaps a bit bigger girls because if this is the smallest size, then I don't know any other like smaller girls than I can fit into them or not. Probably not. I think they'll be a bit too loose or baggy on them, to be honest. Unlike the previous leggings though, the logo is not stitched on your upper glute, but rather it's like hot stamped on the back. And I am worried about the logo peeling off because I can already kind of see if you stretch out the leggings, the logo does start cracking a little bit, which is worrisome. These leggings just give me a vibe where girls that take like a day off or a couple days off a week, just depending on your workout routine, that wants to just lounge at home but still wear like cute and comfortable leggings well I feel like these are the pair for you because they're meant to keep you comfortable and warm and so I feel like those that are looking for those comfortable leggings I think this will be the right fit for you the last pair of leggings I want to share with you is called the Beyond Basic Legging and I also got it in the size extra small which is their smallest size now originally these retail for $69.99 but right now they're on a sale and they retail for $49.99 and I mean sales are good for consumers but at the same time I'm like there's a bunch of sales happening on the website which gets me thinking hmm, like what is going on with the brand now comparing them to the other two that I shared I feel like these are a bit smaller or more tight and compressive compared to the other leggings so sizing was a little bit off considering that it was an extra small I felt like this normally would fit me perfectly whereas these extra smalls were a bit loose still so if the brand had like a double extra small I feel like this fit of it at least would fit that description better than an extra small the waistband is not as high as the booty queen leggings and it's it's still high waisted but it's like not a super high waist legging there is a seam down the front and then the seam down like the center of your waist but there's no seam up at the top and of course there's seams down the sides and there's pockets on the sides as well the logo is stitched down on your side instead of like your upper glutes or your back so I feel like their logo just keeps switching locations depending on the leggings you get. The waistband of these leggings are also around 11 inches but for some reason maybe it's the fabric it just seems very stiff and it just seems a bit smaller than the other leggings. Also like the height of the leggings of the band area is quite small in comparison to the other two. So this legging also has no stitching up at the top but there's two stitches down the side, down the center, also the crotch gusset is a triangle, the logo is on the side, and this logo also started cracking already so if you do stretch them out or wash them multiple times I believe it'll start peeling off. 
These leggings reminded me of Lululemon All The Right Places leggings. These are in that sweat wicking material and it does give off that sheen. Because these were a little like tighter, they're also a bit like stiffer to go up. So I don't know how like running would work on me. You could work out and run in it, but I just feel that it's a bit like tight. These leggings are also really long on me and I did have to fold them once. Thankfully not like multiple times or anything like that. So I'm wondering if it's a sizing issue or not that is just different. The back of the leggings look like this. And these leggings were squat proof on me. So the compression of the leggings are good, but compared to other leggings, it is not as like forgiving. It's quite like stiff and not as like stretchy. They're just simple black leggings that have stitching down the side. And if you're in the market for that kind of legging, then I feel like, well, you can't go wrong with these because they're just very simple black sweat wicking material and almost like a dupe of the lemon, if you will. So that was my review of the leggings from Booty Queen. And obviously I picked up pieces that I would like to wear and my type is more simple. I like simplistic designs. I like one solid color, something too fancy. I mean, I know there was like a booty legging there that had like mesh and stuff like that. But sometimes once in a while I like to venture out. But normally I like to stick with like simple leggings. And to be honest, I really didn't know about booty clean. All I know is that they're locally based here in Dallas. And I've heard that the owner, Amanda and her husband are like really big in the fitness industry. And Amanda won multiple bikini contests and fitness competitions and supposedly they're really big I just had no idea all I know is that they were in Shark Tank and I don't really know what happened after Shark Tank like how the business is doing but I do wonder and question about it because on the website a bunch of the leggings are on sale and normally when brands have these sales well it could be because you know there's a holiday coming up but if there isn't a holiday then they're just trying to get rid of inventory and well why are they trying to get rid of inventory you know, Booty Queen is not bad. It's just that I expect a little more in terms of quality just because, you know, they were featured in Shark Tank, right? And also all their products are made in the USA. But considering all this, I just feel like perhaps the quality can improve. And also the sizing was a little off depending on what legging you got. There was just no consistency. And one thing that I was bummed about was that they offered no leggings for short girls. So not even just short girls, but like average medium height girls, like I feel like these leggings would still be long on them. You really have to be on the tall side to be able to fit into these leggings. And also their smallest size is not very small. I would even say that like, their extra small is comparable to like medium in certain brands. And so I feel like they only cater to certain people and so a lot of people are going to miss out and not have the opportunity to try this brand out just because the sizing won't work out. But if you are into like indie brands and you like supporting local brands, then I do feel like you should check Booty Queen out. I do believe they have like a physical brick and mortar store in Plano, Texas. So if you are living nearby in Texas or visiting, then you can check them out in their boutique. If you guys have tried Booty Queen, let me know what you felt about them and what your impressions were. So I'd love to hear about them. Also, if you know any other indie brands or even local brands that you've tried out, please let me know so I can review them and we can share the experience with everyone. So if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and ring my bell, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. You better turn up You better be there when I shake Watch